For this, I'm going to start with sketching the profile of my knife blade. So I'm going to create a sketch on the front plane, and I'm going to sketch a line from the origin. I'm going to drag roughly out the size that I want, and then from that, I'm going to click and hold my left mouse button down, drag up my arc, drag back to the beginning. Again, sometimes it's easier to stop short and get back to the origin, and then we can just come and add a horizontal or vertical constraint to that line to make sure that we get it right. From there we can start to add some dimensions. So I'm going to do D for dimension. I'm going to select this top line and that is going to be 8 inches. This dimension is going to be 2 inches. This radius is going to be 3.5 inches. Everything is black and fully defined on my sketch. So that's going to be my initial knife blade profile. I'm going to stop that sketch and I'm going to extrude it. And when I extrude it, I'm also going to do this one as a symmetric extrusion. I'm going to check that box for the whole width and then the total width is going to be 0.25. So go ahead and click OK. So now what I want to do is I want to create a path sketch for my profile to follow. So first I'm going to create the path and then I'm going to create the profile. So I'm going to sketch a line on this face and I'm just going to click somewhere in space here and then I'm going to click and hold to swing my arc off and you probably want to bring your arc off quite a long ways. Now I can use some constraints and dimensions to get this uh, fixed up. So I know that this arc and that arc of the original knife blade are going to be concentric. I also am given a dimension of 1.5 from this edge to this point. And the total offset for this is 0.5 inches. Now every part of my, my sweep is defined except for you see the white dot out here. And that's saying that this can move. This isn't fully defined yet, so we're just going to drag it off and that should be okay. Now we can stop our sketch. Now we can do our profile sketch, but because there's no flat face at the end of this line, what we need to do first is construct a plane. So we're going to use a plane option called plane along a path, and we're going to select the path. Now, again, like I said, if you click the zero, that'll be the end of the line. If you make this one, that'll be the be I'm sorry, that'll be the end of the line. Zero is the beginning of the line. And if I were to do 0.5, that would be halfway down that distance. So what we want is zero. I'm going to go ahead and click on zero and click OK. Now I'm going to sketch my profile. So I'm going to create a line on this point, And I have to project some things first. So let's do sketch and project include project. And the one thing I want to project in for sure is going to be my origin. So I'm going to click on that zero point and project that in. I also want to project in, I can either click on the line or the point. So if I just click on that line, it'll give me a point. And now what I want to do is look square on at that, and I'm going to slice the sketch so I just see those, those two points. Now I'm going to connect the dots. So I can do a line from here to here. So I'm still in the line command. We're going to come up to that edge and we're going to come up over there. Now again, it's, sometimes it's tough to tell if it gets locked on. It looks like in my case it did. Sometimes it's easier to extend it out and add a coincident point after you extend that out to make sure it's exactly at the point where you want it. So I'm going to stop my sketch, go back to an isometric view, and now I'm going to create a sweep. Again, this profile can be hard to get to sometimes. It's being blocked. So what I could do is I could turn off the body and then I can easily come and grab it. Here you can see that sketch is blocking me. So I can come to the other side and grab it. If you do do it this way, when you select your profile, remember to turn your body back on before you try to com complete the command or fail. The other thing I can do is I can just hover my mouse over that triangle, click and hold, and then wait until the profile sketch that I want right there. Now I can select that. And now I can choose my path sketch. My path is going to be that. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now let's work on the kind of curved part of this. So to do that, I'm going to sketch an arc, three-point arc, on this face. And I want it to be locked to that point. 
and anywhere out here you feel that you like you can dimension this as as you wish that is the sketch the first sketch i'm going to need i'm now going to put another sketch in the bottom face so i'm going to sketch another arc so select an arc three point arc on this face and we're going to choose that and that point it's possible you may have to project that in uh, i didn't in my case so it projected that uh, it's it shows me that it made a tangent i could have also came and added a tangent constraint separately i'm going to stop the sketch now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a loft between this profile and this profile it's going to choose the shortest distance to get there but i want to add a rail so i'm going to click the plus under the rail section and choose that last sketch that we created and click ok and now it's given me that finished off shape. I don't want to do all that work again, so I'm going to create a mirror. I want to mirror features, and the features that I want to mirror are the loft and the sweep. I'm going to choose my mirror plane. Again, this plane can be hard to select. I'm just going to hold my mouse, let go of the mouse button. There I can see my face, I can see my plane, and I can see my other face. I want the XZ plane. I'm then going to go ahead and click OK. And there you see we get our fully finished knife blade.